Welcome back to London. Oscar-winning actress Dame Helen Mirren is enjoying having the Olympic Games in her home city, and she was kind enough to pay us a visit here in Olympic Park. Good morning to you. Good morning. You know what my first question was? <laughs> Helen, are you into the Olympic spirit? <laughs> I think we have our answer this morning. I am so into the Olympic spirit. I, I mean, I was, all, I was into it right from the beginning. I was a big supporter, you know. I was thrilled when uh, London got the, you know, got the bid, and um, I've been supporting it ever since, and luckily my schedule worked out so I could be here. And uh, icing on the cake, Team GB is doing great. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, I don't know if that happens every time, uh, uh, you know, a host country, uh, you know, host, obviously we always know the Americans are always going to do great, um, the Russians are always going to do great, the Chinese are always going to do great, but, but uh, it was, uh, I think it's been quite a surprise for all of us. It just shows how important preparation is, you know, to have the training facilities, to, to have the encouragement of kids in schools. Really, really great to see. And I have to say, for me, the, the overriding story is the women, the, the, the women in the Olympics. Jessica I mean, Ennis has been huge. The English, uh, the British girls, but, um, but girls from all over the world, you know, just watching them compete. I remember in 1984 when the games were in, in Los Angeles, that was the first year I was told that women ran in the marathon. Mm -hmm. And that was in 1984. That wasn't so long ago. Well, they've come a long way. I know you've gotten to see some events. You got to see Usain Bolt run. I saw Usain won the, uh, win the 100 meters. That was incredibly now, exciting. Now, are you one to scream and shout, or do you do the dignified British oh, no. thing? Oh, no. <laughs> Have you seen any dignified <laughs> British people here? Excuse me. That's not... Uh, um, it's not the way we operate in Britain, actually. I heard you have a theory that the Brits excel at sports in which you're sitting. Yes, that's, <laughs> the British ambassador did say that, and it's very true. We, we have excelled in all the sitting down sports, riding, cycling, rowing, but in some of the standing up on your feet sports as well. It's been a big year for London. We had the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. You narrated the Jubilee pageant I in did. front of the Queen. I did. The so that pageant. wasn't nerve-wracking at all. No, actually, you know, it wasn't nerve-wracking. It was just an, a wonderful celebration of an amazing era in time. And um, <clears throat> to have this as the icing on the cake here, you know, is uh, just an amazing experience for all of us. Sorry. <clears throat> Feel free to cough. <laughs> no, are Londoners, yeah. though, are they sick of partying now? I mean, tell the truth. Are they kind of over it? I'm afraid never get sick of partying. <laughs> As you will see in every pub on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, we are uh, major party animals. Um, I think the Paralympics are going to be hugely successful. Um, people have enormously got into the spirit of it. And, and um, as I say, just so wonderful to see those beautiful, beautiful women and girls doing extraordinary physical feats. That, that's been just so moving for me and exciting. Very inspiring. And speaking of beautiful women, I can't let you go without mentioning you were voted the celebrity who has aged the best in a poll rating celebrities over 60. It's, a, it's your gold medal moment, Dame Helen Mirren. Do you want to make a speech? <laughs> I'm very honest. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Hollinger, you are a good sport indeed. Thank you. Great to see Thank you. you. And your city looks wonderful. <laughs>